Hi, this is Nami Nakamura with Denami Design for the tip of the day for Scrapbook Expo. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own plaid background. Because a lot of times you tend to buy um, pre-printed papers, which can be great on some occasions, but other occasions you might want different colors. So I'm going to show you how to make your own plaid background. So firstly, you can decide whether you're going to do a whole background or even portion it off. In this case, I'm going to just do the bottom half, and this is what I'm going to do. This is called masking. I'm going to just block this off right here. And then I'm going to take our three stripe border. And it is a stripe, so you can use it as a stripe. But watch what I do here. I'm inking this up. And because this is a raised surface, I don't actually have to put my stamp on here. I can actually go this way, too. So there's another tip here. So go like that. Now that I've inked it up, you just place your first stripe down. And then just keep inking it. Um, what you can do is line this up to what you pre-stamped. Um, so you go like this. So there's no um, um, line, um, stamp aligner that you need to use in this for this technique. You just go like that back and forth. And imagine using this particular stripe one, red on white, maybe green on white, for peppermint stripes. So you can do that. So I'm going to clean this off. And I'll use a stamp cleaner, so I'll use a little scrubby right here. And I've got a little towel on my lap here. And then I'm going to change colors. The reason why I'm changing colors is it gives it a little more dim dimension than if it was all green. So I'm going to do this again. Start with just the one stripe. See that? Very, very easy. So you can do this black on white, white on black, and then you could layer them together too. So you don't always have to worry about what you um, have ha um, at home. You could just use what you, the inks that you have and the papers. So when then you remove it, you've got a beautiful background. And to finish it off, I'm going to take this polka dotted background. I'll ink it up like this. It's a great backdrop for whatever you want to put on there. So there's my plaid background. This is Nami with a tip of the day for Scrapbook Expo. Hey there, I'm Heidi Swap. Stay tuned for the latest and greatest from Summer CHA brought to you by Scrapbook Expo.